Indigo soldiers suffers and beaten for revealing the secret of the Biafran War. <laughs> nothing, nothing will stop the truth from being revealed. The secret, the secret uh, behind the Biafran War. What's actually the real truth concerning what led to the uh, to the 1967 war can best be told by a Nigerian soldier. Someone said that if you want to divide Nigeria, call a soldier. They know all the secrets. They know all the secrets. And that is why it is in their constitution to maintain confidential matters on all that they know, saw, or discussed. And that's why you see that soldiers are always secretive. They are the best secretive people ever in the whole world. Let's check the content. This is Evening News. It's so painful that this special force has just been given a public torture. Is this how our evil soldiers suffers in Nigeria? If so, why then are they joining the army? These soldiers have been dragged in the public air because they took a move to defend their own people. Revealing the secret that wasn't revealed in 1967. According to an anonymous speaker, the soldiers took a very serious risk to reveal what Ojuku told those who actually took front in the Biafran war and what happened between Ojuku and the Nigerian military force. These soldiers suffer deep torture, pain and a lot of beating. This was revealed as one of them who actually spoke saying that our pain is a pain our tears is the tears we cannot continue to keep calm this actually attracted the attention of the indigents who actually witnessed the torture so they took to the streets to cause a very serious riot my listeners do you know one amazing thing about this very content? The writer of this content finished this content without, without indicating where this actually happened. But before we can bring it up to the air, we need to make our own investigation. So we discovered that this very issue happened in a point. Happened in a point. You cannot see. The Igbo soldiers, I, I keep wondering why they keep um, lobbying in for 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 uh, for the military when they know that these people are only trying to make use of them and get them killed it was also we were also told of how these people uh, uh, purposefully move the Igbo soldiers to the war front so that they can be brutalized by the Fulani Maridias or the bandits and if you look at it very well, you will see that most of the time, it has always been the Igbo soldiers that has always been pushed out of the streets. 
One of them lamented one day, saying that the camp where they were kept. He said the camp where they were kept. That that very camp was um uh, that the 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 instead of them to allow them to stay inside, they told them the superior of that very camp have to move them outside. Ask them to sleep outside. They should put mats outside. Why he allowed some some of the soldiers to stay inside. So when they tried to do their findings, they discovered that the people he pushed outside was the northern soldier was the Igbo soldiers. So you cannot see the maltreatment. So why then are they bothering themselves joining the army? If this is how the military is, if this is if this uh, uh, this uh, it, it, maltreatment can also be extended to the military, which is not supposed to be so. It's not supposed to be so. In 1967, among the federal troops, we have both Northerners, Easterners, South South, and what have you. They are mixed up. They are mixed up. And the the, the allegiance, the love, and the trust was 100%. So why is now he, 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 why is he, is there hatred in this very time? Why why are we experiencing biasness, hatred within the fellow military men? Why? So you cannot see the area I am coming from. So 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 I will tell you that this doesn't all go well at all. It doesn't all go well. So if there is anything that needs to be done to save this situation before the Igbo soldiers are completely wiped off, they should quickly do it. Because I want to tell you that it is very easy for this country to divide using the military. I'm telling you, very, very easy. All right, let's hear from you and know what you equally think about this and what your take on this may be. Don't forget your comments are very much important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos.